guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all of you thumbs up. <sighs> Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby, and I am a mom. Courage to change. Let me see. Let me get there. Yay. I got it. I got my coffee. Hopefully it's not too loud. I didn't get up that early. I get up early and things don't work right. Here we go. Some alcoholics become abusive, especially when they drink. How do we handle violence? What can we do about it? Al-Anon doesn't give specific advice about relationships. We don't advocate ending them or continuing to build them. Those decisions are best left to each individual member to make when he or she feels ready. We do, however, emphasize our personal responsibility to take care of ourselves. If we know that physical danger is a part of our reality, we can admit it and take steps to protect ourselves, at least temporarily. We may arrange for a safe place to go at any hour if we need it. If it may be wise to keep money and car keys in easy access. Perhaps we'll also seek counseling or speak with the police about our options. No one has the right to physically abuse anyone else under any circumstances. We can inventory our own behavior to see if we are contributing to the problem by provoking someone who is drunk. And we can work to change that behavior, but we do not cause another to be violent or abusive. Today's reminder, I don't have the power to change another person. If I'm dealing with violence, I must be the one who changes. I'll start by being honest about what is going on. The quote is from all in all our affairs, quote, there is hope, there is help, and I have an inalienable right to human dignity, end quote. I'll read that again. There is hope. There is help. And I have an inalienable right to human dignity. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on praise. I am overcoming my praise deficit. Just as a marathon runner experiences an oxygen deficit after miles of exertion, so too did I develop a praise deficit while growing up. I yearn to be appreciated, yet because I received so little recognition from my parents, I began to question whether I was a good person worthy of praise. In my adult life, I have sought to fill my praise deficit by fishing for compliments. At times, I have manipulated others into praising me by expressing false humility. Today, I will give up these false ways of filling my praise deficit. I will fill my mind with positive self-talk. I will start keeping a journal in which I can jot down a list of my daily triumphs, great and small. Today, I will meet my needs for praise without resorting to manipulation. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey, friends. 
follow your bliss and be good humans.